Hi everyone, my name is Dave Knight. I'm the head coach of Do3 Coaching. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a custom workout within Zwift and to be able to export that workout and share it with a friend or a member of your team or a squad mate so that they can do the same training session as you. It prevents the need for them to create their tra the training session from scratch. They can just import it into their uh, Zwift files and away they go. So there's a lot of people stuck indoors at the moment doing a lot of group training. So hopefully you'll find this uh, an easy guide to follow and find it useful uh, these days when we're all, we're all locked indoors. So here we go. Okay, so first log in to Zwift. Hit let's go, wait for the system to all burst into, into action. So wait for it to log in. And you'll get to this screen, the paired devices screen. Uh, we don't need to worry about this too much because we're just at the desktop. Uh, we're not pairing any devices at the moment, we're just going into a custom workout setup. So we can skip this page. Just gives you a little warning to make sure that uh, that you're actually happy that you want to skip the pairing, which we do. So we'll get past that. And then we're presented with our ride workout choice. Now, what we're going to select here under ride type here is training. Now what you'll find in here are all the Zwift training plans and workouts that are already preset, but also right at the top here, as you can see, is the custom workouts. Now these are all workouts which I have created over time. Um, so these are all my workouts, the workouts that we use for the squad are all in here. So you don't need to worry too much about that. All you need to do to create a workout right at the top there is create a new workout and you get this quite simple box pop up. It's really quite self-explanatory. Type a, a title in the top. So test workout. Get rid of all the rest of this. Put a description of some description, some type in there. So test work out description. If you want to put your name in there, you can. It's up to you. Uh, and if you can tag your workout, that's up to you too. Um, I'm not 100% sure what these are for. I'm assuming you can search under these tags somehow. So now you're ready to start actually setting up the workout. So this is quite a simple drag and drop system. All of these items over here on the right hand side are all things that you can drag onto the workout timeline here. So. It's best thing to do with, it, with these is play around with them. So we can use warm up, for example. We can drag the warm up in, drag the warm up in, and drop it down there. And it gives you a kind of a default warm out warm up, which you can either use or you can adapt. So if you watch the mouse here, you can actually see the little line pop up. You can drag it along to extend the length of the warm up, or you can actually raise the height of it. It's a ramped up type warm-up where it gradually grows up and, and the effort level gets higher um, and you can or you can just manually type in the kind of start and end powers so you could start you could end sorry 150 watts and you could start I don't know you could start at 100 okay uh, duration again you can set that manually if you want rather than dragging it sometimes the the drag method can be a little bit sensitive to so 10 minutes start up let's take this up a little bit actually let's go up here to i don't know let's go to 200 watts or thereabouts won't worry about too much about the accuracy just while i think about it here actually as well you can get this to display either watts or a percentage of ftp okay so depending on which one of those you want to go for watts or percentage of ftp we usually go for uh, when i set my own up i go for watts because i know what my power is if you're not so sure you're setting it up for other people then if you want to uh, select percentage of FTP, if they're gonna know what that means, then that's the option to go for. But we'll just stick with watts for now. Okay, so we can now drop an interval in here. The intervals can be start off with four intervals there, as you can see. You can increase your intervals or you can reduce them down. I think you can go down to two is the minimum. So you've got two intervals there. 
And again, you can drag these power levels to wherever you want them. So you can drag them up or you can drag the length across to whatever you want them to be. Um, the other interval, which would usually be a, a recovery, or I guess you could just kind of do a ramp or something like that. So you could go up a little bit, uh, can also be arranged in the same way. Um, and as you can see here, power one, you can set power one, which will be this green one here. So we could go right up and go, let's go 300 watts for that one. And the colors here are um, the very relationship to your actual power zones. So that would be power zone four. Again, if you're aware of what your power zones are. So power zone four, and at the moment, uh, this recovery element down here is zone one. So nice and easy recovery in the gray. Or again, you can drag this up into zone two. So you can see the color change there. So that's intervals. So you select however many intervals you want. Um, so you can only have a minimum of two intervals, because I guess that wouldn't be an interval if you only had one. If you want to be a bit more kind of, um, a bit more specific, you can just put single intervals in there as well. So again, you can set that to whatever you want it to be. So set that to three minutes. You could have a zone four in there. And basically, we can go around selecting those to be however you want them to be okay so design any type of workout however you want it to be if you make a mistake you simply can change positions put this wherever you want it to be or if you want to get rid of it completely you can drag it all the way over here look and drop it in the bin and then that's gone okay so that's how you drop in your individual little zone workouts um, and your intervals when you've got multiples uh, you can put a cool down in there if you wish. It's similar to the warm up, but uh, just make some adjustments as you wish and set it out pretty much however you want it to be. What you can also put in there is a free ride, which basically means you can do whatever you like. OK, so you can't really adjust this. You can change the duration of it. But if you're on uh, if you are got the erg mode set, then this will allow you to do whatever you like during this period. So you can go as hard or as, uh, as not so hard as you as you like. So that's nice and straightforward in there. What you can also do is drop some text in. So put it right at the start here, put it where you want, and you can put, again, whatever text you want coming up. Watch out. Get ready. Or whatever you want it to be. You can put a note in there about, um, oh, that's the wrong one, actually. Let's get rid of that. Let's see if we can get rid of that one. There we go, drop that in the bin. Uh, we can put cadence in there. So here we go, we can actually specify what cadence you should be doing during that element as well. And that'll pop up as a note on the screen while you're doing the workout. All right, so super simple. So that's how you, uh, you create a workout, really straightforward. So you just save that. And that should drop into your list of work, custom workouts down here somewhere, hopefully. There we go, test workout. Now it'll sit in here, it'll sit in here forevermore um, until you decide to delete it. And then as you can see here, you've got some options. So you can either press this one, the little pencil button, and you can go back into the workout and you can edit again. Save it if you want to come back out. Or you can, where are we? You can click this one, which is really useful, which is a duplicate button. All right, so if you have some intervals, which are, let's discard this one because we don't need it, that's a duplicate. If you've got some intervals, which we've got some up here, which are quite similar, look, uh, it's almost like it's a progression. Um, so you can go back in, you can duplicate it, and you can add other, another interval in there, or you can raise the power up a little bit or just adjust it, fine tune it. So you don't have to start from scratch right from the beginning. So that's quite uh, that's quite handy. Um, just before I forget as well, if you go back into the workout, what it does is actually works out your training stress score points. So based on the, the, um, the level that you've set these intervals at, it knows how hard you the overall session is on your body, what kind of training stress score it gives you. Okay, so for an hour's workout, the maximum should be a hundred points okay so we can test that out actually so if we if we just quickly get rid of all these ones out of here 
So the maximum points you should be able to get in an hour would be 100 points. This would be an interesting little test just to see if this actually works. So if we set it, let's just uh, extend this right the way out. Let's take it to an hour and see what the points come out at. There we go. So if we save that, let's go back into it. 144, that's because it's set way over threshold. So my threshold at the moment is about 300 watts. Okay, so if I save that now, there we go, FTP is 300. So if I now go back into that for an hour's workout, if I can find it again, 102. So it's obviously just slightly, slightly over. So it's set on 302, that's where the extra two couple of points comes from so the maximum stress points you can generate in an hour should be 100 okay so it's a quite a good way of you just testing to see how hard a session would be so if I did an hour at FTP that should be the maximum that you can manage during that particular time the stars I believe are the kind of the segments so if you do a multiple workout so if you drop some intervals back in here and you do all these properly and the system kind of checks you off and gives you a little star for each one, you know that you've done the, done the workout the way you should have done. All right, so let's just save that there and then come back out. Now, so that's the workout created. So if you go back into training, that workout will be sitting there waiting for you to do. Now, what you can't do on Zwift is you can't share this workout directly from here. OK, so what I need to show you next is how to export this file and give it effectively give it to somebody else. Or if someone gives you a workout file, you can import them into Zwift. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. OK, so to locate your workout file within uh, within your computer, you need to go to documents So click on documents. Within documents, you should see a folder titled Zwift. And then Within that Zwift folder, you should see another one titled Workouts. And then you find a folder with uh, a series of numbers after it. Now that should be your Zwift user ID, okay? Now, if there are more than one of you using your Zwift account, I think what you'll probably find is more than one folder with different numbers. So just make sure you've got the right one. Uh, you can have a look in both and just see uh, and see if your, fault, your workout file is in there. But if we just expand into this folder here, Scroll down through all the workout names, and there we go. We can see test workout, which is the one we created. Now, what you need to do with this is copy it. So copy and paste. So you can left click on the mouse, copy test workout, and you can paste it into an email. You can paste it into a WhatsApp message. However you want to send that file to the person that you want to send it to, you should be able to do that. Nice and straightforward. Shouldn't have any issues with that at all. So just copy that. And like I say, send it on to uh, send it on to your your friend or your squad mate, and then they should be able to import that, which will go through shortly. So this is uh, um, on a Mac. Now I understand the file structure for Windows PCs is exactly the same, so you shouldn't have any difficulty finding on a Windows PC. But nice and straightforward. Again, just documents, find the Zwift folder, find the Workouts folder, find your user ID folder and then just copy and paste. These are all .zwo files, which are all the workout files, okay? I don't suggest that you open the file up or manipulate the, the data within it. Just simply copy and paste it and send it on to your, send it on to your friend. Okay, and finally, I'm just going to show you how to import a workout into your uh, Zwift application as well. So say somebody sends the thing to you. So we already know how to navigate to this. So documents and then Zwift and then workouts, find your user ID and then all your workouts are stored in here. So what I'm gonna do is um, I've got a workout file here, file here called underscore, sorry, one underscore six underscore brick dot ZWO. Simply dragged and dropped that into my workouts file. Now I'm gonna come out of this and I'm gonna load back into Zwift and see if we've got the file there. 
So here we are back in Zwift now. So we just need to skip through this. We don't need this because we're just testing to see if the file is there. So skip through the pairing. Yes, we're sure. And then we need to go back into our training again. And there we go, right at the top, look. One, six, brick. Click on that, and there we go. There's the workout, and you can just click the button, and that will work out. There we go. Sitting there at the side of the screen. All right, so nice, easy way there to create workout files and also to export them and send them to people. And then if you get sent one yourself, how to import it and get yourself going on that workout. It's quite a good system if you've got a if you've got half a dozen of yourself, your mates um, or your squad, and you want to all do the same training session at the same time. Then you can arrange a meetup. I've got done a separate meetup visit. Uh, sorry, a separate meetup recording for that. Um, so you can arrange a, a meetup at say seven o'clock in the morning. You can all load up this particular training file, and you should be good to go. So you all accept the meetup and you start riding at seven. The way you do it is you go to the meetup um, meetup start point, and then you select the workout afterwards. Don't select the workout and then go to the meetup because I don't think it works that way around. So select the meetup, go to the start. Um, you should be sat on the side of the road. Select the workout, and then you should be good to go. To uh... so I hope you found that useful, nice and simple. If you found it uh, found it useful, we've got plenty more videos to come like that. We've got lots in the library already. So click to subscribe and ring the bell to like us so you get notifications about when we've got some new videos coming out. Um, and thanks for watching.